Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to Tech Balance Tips and Tricks, Episode 1. And in this episode, we're going to be increasing our internet speed without having to go to our ISP, or otherwise known as our internet service provider. Okay, we're going to be using three things today. We're going to be using just two programs, actually, and one thing that you can change in on your computer, any computer besides Macs unfortunately. If you do have a Mac, um, there's still two options that we can do here, but the, I'll leave that one to the end. Okay, the first one we can do is basically download a program called CC Cleaner. CC Cleaner cleans your computer. Cl it, it might actually not be your internet that's slowing down your internet. It might be the lagginess of your computer that takes a while to load the pages or load the video. So, we're going to start off at the computer. We're going to clean out the computer. Okay, so download CC Cleaner. Just type it in on Google. Okay, once you download it and installed CC Cleaner, now we're going to want to have a look at uh, running the cleaner. Just click run. And I've actually done it just before and it removed 741 megabyte worth of stuff. Just because this is my first ever time using it after I've done it. If it's your first time, you're going to remove a lot, and I mean a lot. But if it isn't your first time, just run it again and just clear it all out again. Okay, next we're going to want to go to your internet and search for a new browser. Okay, I use Firefox. Firefox is good. It can get annoying at times, but overall it's a good browser. Google Chrome, Google Chrome can be faster. It's faster than Internet Explorer. If you're with Internet Explorer, this, you're going to want to try and change it to a different one. Even Safari. Safari works on a Windows PC. Um, it can work well. Um, I don't use it. I don't need to use it. I just use Firefox. But if you change from Internet Explorer or Chrome to Firefox or Firefox to Chrome, just try different ones to see what you like more. Okay. The next we're going to do is we're going to do a simple thing on your computer. Okay. Click the start button and type in run or open up run. Okay. Once we're here, type in gpedit.msc. Okay. And it will just load up a program. Okay. Once this is open, go to administrative templates. And when we're in here, go to network. And in network, go to QoS Packet Scheduler. And once we're here, click Limit Outstanding packet Packets. Sorry. Okay, once we're in here, it should be not configured. Once that's like that, choose Enabled, and Number of Packets, set it to zero. It will have a random number there that will come up first, so make sure you choose it to zero. And then just go OK. And once that's done, you should test your internet speed with speedtest.net, I think it's speedtest.com, I don't know. But I hope these things helped you, and make sure if you are, you see, if it might not be your computer that's slowing down your internet, it might actually be the browser, or it might actually be the computer, you never know. But just try these things, and it should run it out quite smoothly. I hope this helped and um, make sure to subscribe. It will help me out a lot. Thank you.